Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Ali Shanma here. Welcome to somewhere uh, outside Nahon Sawan in Thailand. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. We are on the way to Chiang Mai and staying in this beautiful, nice resort. And I thought this is the best time and the best place to introduce, unbox, and fly the all new Yuxiang F06, the newest scaled EC135 six channel RC helicopter. So in this video, let me quickly unbox it right here, show you what comes inside the box, give you a quick and closer look at the RC helicopter itself. And then, well, this is really a very nice place and a good background. Test it and see how it flies and give you a straightforward, honest review of all new Yuxiang F06 EC135. So let's get to work. Here's a quick unboxing and I'll give you a closer look right away after that. Talk about its features. So inside the box I got myself an F06 user manual that you should want to read it. The spare blades, a spare tail blade, a USB-C cable and a Phillips screwdriver and a hex screwdriver, uh, sorry hex head driver and that's all you need to charge the batteries or you know uh, repair this helicopter. Uh, thank you very much uh, RC Going. Uh, this is yes, of course available on RC Going. Check out the link in video description. I've got this beautiful, look at that. Huh? Nice man, very nice. Four blades, main rotor head and looks like both brushless motor. This beautiful EC135, okay. So I'll put it down here and three batteries. We'll take a look at one battery only for now, okay? So you have on off button right here. You have five volt out for your FPV camera to stick your FPV camera. Uh, well, proprietary battery, 7.4 volt, 1200 mAh, 25C, okay? So I got three of these and, sorry, but I have to say an El Cheapo radio this time it's looking really El Cheapo. I'm not very happy to be honest, but anyway, this is a radio. I would love to have a way for this helicopter to bind and fly with my Boxer Edge TX. Anyway, so this was unboxing. Let's take a quick and closer look at the helicopter. Okay, let's take a closer look at the helicopter. If I bring it more in the, you know, uh, sunshine, you won't be able to see clearly. I believe this is very clear. So this time we have an EC135, very scaled replica of the real helicopter all the rivets doors windows everything you can see unfortunately these windows and the front shield they're all black plastic slightly transparent i can see a little bit inside but not completely transparent now we have a plastic landing skid more scaled cosmetics that's very easy to break um very yuxiang actually uh, on my previous uh you know those uh, black hawk helicopters i have broken these and then we have a brushless motor. Good to see that there's a brushless motor on the tail still. And, and then uh, just a tail unit inside that does not have rotors. So this is, again, the same thing like, uh, you know, E-Sky EC150, a three blade transparent propeller, uh, you know, on the tail rotor so that you don't see it when it spins. But the thing is uh, in E-Sky EC150, there's a simulated, uh, you know, tail rotor inside that actually spins with the wind and creates a very realistic effect. This does not have that, so Yuxiang just have left it open and there's nothing inside that will spin. Um, so you will won't be able to see any simulation effect like that, right there. Four rotors, main rotor head, okay? So balancing and or, you know, uh, tracking the blades should be um, an issue, but so far, let's say I haven't crashed it and I don't plan to crash it. Now inside, if I look from here, I don't know if you can see it inside or not. There's a brushless motor inside that is about 1200 kV motor. Okay, and that's a 4000 or 4700 kV motor if I remember right. So both motors are brushless motors and that provides plenty of power. Okay, now how long it will fly? We'll find out very soon with this battery, of course, once I start flying it. It is using digital servos. Uh, are they Metal Gear or not? I'm not sure there's nothing in the user manual or anywhere on the site that says that they are, you know, um, Metal Gear or not. So I cannot say, but they did say that these are digital servos. There's a LED light on the tail. There's a kind of uh, a little, little a flexy, flexy kind of tail here. The uh, tail fins are here, like a horizontal stabilizer. 
on the bottom if you see there's a, a little camera which is an optical flow hold so this does not have a gps don't expect an auto return to home so but it will hold its position uh and altitude so it has two flight modes now let's come to the radio controller okay as i said sorry uh, yu xiang uh, looks very el cheapo this time uh hope you could improve it or just gave us a pnp to bind and fly with the you know uh, radio master radios anyway so you have two sticks modes uh, like spring loaded sticks is like a kind of uh, playstation game controller or pc game controller okay so um, spring loaded you can change the mode of the radio you have trimmers you have unlock button for the motor and then you can unlock and lock the motors i mean arm and disarm the motors by doing the sticks uh, pattern okay and you have if you press this trimmer down you have optical flow mode up is manual mode after manual mode you can press it and then move your aileron and elevator and helicopter will go auto inverted and remember it's not the uh, easy mode in auto inverted it's a professional mode so going down will go up going up will go down <laughs> so remember that and the controls will be reversed so we'll give it a try as well and this one says a trimming button but i don't know how you do it maybe press and hold and trim uh, we'll find out how does that work we have other trimmers right here and these are the trimmers for the um pitch so if you happen to crash the helicopter and you replace the servos you replace this so if you happen to crash the helicopter and you replace the servos you have to balance the uh, you know uh, uh, swash plate so you can use this to change the pitch uh, pitches and or you know so you can use these two buttons to uh, balance or level the swash plate and change the pitches on the radio control using the radio controller and then you have an on off switch that's it that's all she wrote all right so i just had a quick test flight and I can tell you, this flies really nice. Though we have lots of winds and there's a huge, and there's a warning of a big thunderstorm coming. But this thing, they said that it will withstand the winds. So what they said, it's right. It did fly very well in these winds. And now I'm gonna give you a demo. So that was a maiden flight and this is the maiden flight for the cameras. Check this out. This is really a nice table, all my RCs here. And I was just flying FPV and I can now sit right here and fly FPV again and give you a quick uh, you know vlog about this nice and you know very affordable resort and it's beautiful to stay here uh, after some time right here you will see a beautiful sunset okay so let's fly come on here we go Bismillah my rain it's pretty windy as we can see from the trees as well so first off, I'm going to show you it's uh, optical flow hold, position hold, okay? So we're just going to put it right here. Optical flow should work up to this altitude. So I'm rotating the helicopter and then leaving it. The thing is that once you start moving the stick like aileron, elevator, it will stop holding its position. That's the thing with the optical flow programming for these kind of helicopters. So in these winds, on the stones, it's holding properly. I would say that's satisfactory, though not very solid. Let's see over the grass. Now I have left it. So as you can see, I'm holding the radio. It gives you a lot of time to think. It holds its position without GPS. And beginners have a lot of time to think, reorientate themselves and fly. But as soon as you touch the rudder or aileron elevator it will lose its i mean it will stop holding the position and start moving but when you leave the sticks let's say at even at this altitude you see it's actually holding it's actually holding so now i leave the sticks nice let's bring it down at this altitude even better so there's a LED green LED light right under the tail boom as well that's nice red light on the tail and an LED light on the front let's fly it in altitude or attitude mode where it holds its position in optical flow despite of all these winds it's actually flying very well but I can tell you I do not like this game type controller I mean, Yuxiang, if you would have given us the older type of controller, I would still be very, very happy that came with the, you know, the Seahawk helicopter. That controller was very nice. 
But this one is not just, I'm sorry once again, looks El Chipo, but is El Chipo. But also, I feel very uncomfortable flying with this radio controller. However, controls are nice and precise. Okay. So in optical flow mode, when you're flying, it's flying very well, fighting the winds, and as soon as you leave the sticks, it will hold position. Now I'm switching it to manual mode. Okay, immediately starts drifting. No more position hold. But hey, it's actually doing very well, look at that. In this mode, it flies fast. Oh. Tends to get really fast, actually. Oh, I scared the pigeons. Nice. Flies very well, actually. So yeah, this is manual mode, and it says that, you know, it should do inverted, but I don't know why it's not doing inverted. I got to use the, uh, I mean, read the user manual and see if I'm doing something wrong or not. But again, I mean, a scale helicopter flying it inverted, I would not actually do any kind of 3D or recommend you to do inverted. This is a scale helicopter and real helicopters, they don't fly inverted, people. They don't fly inverted. However, Yuxiang still gives you something to play with and fly it inverted. I would try it once again, but I would say for now, you see, look at the trees. It actually flies very well in these winds. Oh, it is still trying to hold position at that altitude. Nice, nice man, nice. All right, let me land it and read the user manual to see if I can finally do inverted on this one and this is a really nice place to drive my FMS FJ Cruiser rock crawler and after this I'm so gonna drive that one there you go it was fun flying it actually I believe if you don't have this much winds it will actually fly even better let's read the user manual see if I can go inverted would you want to go inverted on this helicopter? Let me know in the video comments. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there, come on, don't be shy, just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.